Arsene Wenger. Ah, oh, for God's sake! I'm doing a really dramatic build-up to us winning the Premier League. It's more, it's, it's difficult to win the Premier League. Yeah, no, I know, Arsene, but we're there. We're going to do it today. I can absolutely feel it. No. You pessimistic. <laughs> he, he doesn't know what he's talking about. We are going to win it. Please. Hello, all. Michael Munch here. Welcome to the season finale of season two of my Arsenal save. Let's give you the lowdown. So since the last episode where we beat Bristol City in the FA Cup semi-final and crashed out of the Champions League, it's gone okay. We won 2-0 against Wolves, beat Bournemouth 4-0, lost to Burnley 1-0 away at Turf Moor, but then bounced back and beat Leicester 1-0 in the Premier League. That has left us, as you can see from the intro, first in the table. We are equal on points with Manchester City with a goal difference of plus 50 to their plus 48. So two goals separating us and City. We've both played the same amount of games. The wild card in all of this is Liverpool. 35 games played, so they have a game in hand and they are on 79 points. So one point behind us. Today, to finish the Premier League season, we host Watford at the Emirates and then travel to Goodison Park to take on Everton with a chance of winning the Premier League in only my second season in charge. Who do Liverpool and City have, you ask? City are away at Old Trafford for a Manchester derby and then host Stoke on the final day, so a very difficult end for them. Not as difficult for Liverpool because they host Fulham, Chelsea and then are away against Nottingham Forest. But they do have one eye on the FA Cup final, which is against us, and another eye on the Champions League final. Liverpool in with the chance of a treble in this season. We will obviously be keeping you up to date with what is going on all around the grounds, but without further ado, let's just get into it. I'm so excited. This is going to be drama field, I can tell already. And to start off the drama, we've had a number of bloody injuries. Reese Nelson, we already know, is out. Hector Bellerin has managed to injure himself, but he'll be back, hopefully, for the final game against Everton. Pepe has managed to injure himself, and he will not even play a part in the FA Cup. Finally, his torn wrist ligaments, which I have no idea how you do while playing a football game. And Erling Haaland, not that this is a really big uh, injury, but he is out for three to six days. So, we are a little bit up against it in terms of who we've got to call on. Fortunately, our squad is pretty deep, and I'm hoping that we will be able to cope without it. To host Watford today, we're going with a 4-2-3-1 formation, so a little bit more attacking than normal. Lovakovic is in goal. Chilwell, Regani, Milenkovic, and Maitland Niles make up the defence. Then you've got Donny van der Beek and Joe Willock in the midfield with Depay, Armada, and Sane in by Pierre-Marie Aubameyang, who is in good form at the moment. He has scored four goals and got one assist in his last five games, so... If ever there was a time for one of my strikers to finally turn up and start, providing it is now. I'm going to swap Donny van der Beek and Joe Willock, so Donny can go in the more defensive role. And Joe Willock, who is up for player of the year, by the way, playing at 7.48 all the way through the season. And favourite to win it all right now. He is the highest rated player in the Premier League. I need to get him more advanced and up the pitch. Right, come on boys, let's do this. Okay, Watford obviously looking up to set up and hit us on the counter with Dini and Delefeu up front. My record against Watford in Football Manager is notoriously awful. Let's hope that that is not the case today. I'm going to certainly say I expect nothing but a win from this match. This will also win here, guarantee us qualification to the Champions League, but I think we pretty much all know that we're already there. This is more to do with the Premier League title now. This is what it all boils down to, and we're going to go positive right from the off. Come on, you Gunners. I'm so pumped. Come on. City and Liverpool, though, not playing today. They both play tomorrow on the Sunday in their respective fixtures, both of which I expect them to win. City are, of course, away at Old Trafford tomorrow, but United are rubbish. So, Right, here we go. Memphis Depay whips the ball in here. They clear it via Montez. Milenkovic, though, on the ball. Tees back into a bam. Yeah, he's in. He scored. Must be in. Is the ref going to disallow it? It looks like he might be offside. We were robbed in the last game from being offside. And it has. It's been ruled out. I'm not sure about this. We need to see it here. It's a brilliant ball from Milenkovic. Is it Milenkovic? He doesn't... He does. He looks on to me. Now that's the first bit of action we've had in the game. And 20 minutes in, and I was expecting a little bit more. We can tell we don't look 
that up for it. We're dominating the game, but we're not peppering the goal like I thought we would. Uwajan, I have no idea how you pronounce that bloke's name, but he looks like a pretty decent outlet on that left-hand side. As Will Hughes hits over the top, Decore's in. Please don't do this to me. Decore, he spanks it wide. But that is a sign of the danger that Watford can provide if we're not careful here. I really don't want to go into bloody half time at nil nil. Come on, boys. I've had to get, ask them to get creative. Now, Watford are on the attack. Ever since we've gone attacking, I know that it's obviously opening the game up a little bit, but I feel it's the only way we're going to be able to get men forward and get some chances into this game is to cut. Oh, no. Ref, come on. you got to blow that up. I'm sorry that my. It stopped. Oh, yes. Gerald Delefeu has been. It's been disallowed. What's it been disallowed for? Is this for offside? Yeah, he's an offside. Terrible from Gerard Delafeu. I mean, I'm not sure what Lovakovic is doing there. He's doing his best Superman impression. Runs out. And the ball's not even in the air. He's just ran past it. Not a clue what he's doing there. But this has been a very cagey, cagey first half from us. And I'm not pleased at all by what I've seen. They are throwing themselves in the way of absolutely everything at the moment. We just cannot break them down. Right, no one at the break, not the start we were looking for. I'm going to get aggressive, so I'm far from pleased with what I've just seen. We need to do a bit of tactical tweaking here. Right, in possession, let's focus down the left and get on the overlap because they haven't got a lot of width wide. Forget working the ball into the box. Get that tempo nice and high. I forgot maybe that's what we should have been doing already. And then we're going to get extremely wide. So stretch the pitch out. Stretch the pitch, get it wide, move it quickly. Move them around. That five at the back can only sustain so much. And we're going to be able to overlap them on the wings. That is where we're going to have the joy. And we need to make sure that we get it down those sides. Right, here we go. Memphis Depay to Ben Chilwell. Chilwell to Joe Willock. Always the man to spot a good ball. Willock, Aubameyang. Course, one-on-one. -on -one, which means it's never going in. Wonderful stuff. <laughs> right, I'm wondering actually what we're going to do. We're going to swap Depay and Sane. I know that neither of them particularly like the other wing as it were. So... Let's just give it a go and see if it makes a difference. They bring on Chalibur for Pereira. So that's a bit of a defensive change, I'd like to say. Uwajan, back to Cam Chambers. Go on, get on him. Hughes into Chalibur. Mm, Chalibur, great ball over the top. Decore's got three here. He's been brilliant with his run today, Decore. Decent ball. Gerald Defe. No! Oh, I hate Watford. Bloody hell. Right, we've got to go for it. What an anticlimax this is going to be. If we don't even do it here, I'm going to be absolutely distraught. We're going to the old 3-2-5. This is an absolute nightmare. Gerard Delefei, Rugani makes a terrible mistake. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe... I hate Watford. What is it with me? And title games against Watford. I don't even want to watch it. Let's not watch it, please. Look at the Premier League table in real life. They are absolute gash. And yet we're being done here. And the players aren't turning up. Rigani's having a mess. Sane's not turned up. Aubameyang's playing at 6.3. The old mental fragility of Arsenal. The weakness is still there. It's still there. And it is just annoying the infectious. Get off Sane. Get out of my sight. Emil Smith-Rowe comes on. I genuinely do not believe it. We've won our last eight home games. Watford turn up. Do a job piss off honestly just i understand that i've gone for it a bit here, but what else am i meant to do what am i meant to do we've got two minutes left even a draw is not the end of the world but we're not even going to get one here because watford just apparently have now become the best defensive team in world football i've chucked every man forward and we we just we haven't even touched them and that, that's brilliant there. Just let Decore run through as he squares it over the box to Craig Kafka. Well-known striker of the ball, Craig Kafka. Wonderful footballer. Absolutely brilliant. Not championship level at any at any point. No, no. Wonderful. World-class world talent. Yep, clearly. I'm so sorry. I have no idea what to say. I have no idea. I'm not stunned. I'm not shot. You're a disgrace, all of you. We couldn't even take it to the last day. Disgrace. Absolute disgrace. Piss off, all of you. I just want to be left alone. The only thing that could possibly happen now that would make me happier is that we need City and Liverpool to lose pretty much all their games. We probably won't even beat flipping Everton. So, what's the point? I'm feeling so negative. Why did I have to lose all my best players? Well, United beat City. So, it's all now down to Liverpool and their game in hand then against Chelsea. And then we can go into the final day with a chance of maybe winning the league maybe i'm near tears now it's been such a good season
I threw everything at it there, and it's just one of those times where FM just decides, nah, no highlights this time, mate. Nah, mate, you're alright. That's going to be the best thing about FM next year. It's probably that Watford are going to get relegated this year, and I won't have to play them with my Premier League save next year. Right. Liverpool v Chelsea. Please, Chelsea. Please. Please. Liverpool win the title. We've got £1 million from Oxley Chamberlain winning the Premier League title. That is about as good as it gets. And you have to say a team that can get to the final of the Champions League and the FA Cup and win the Premier League, you just have to hold your hands up and say that they're just a little bit better than us. Um, well, this is, <laughs> this is so, so anticlimactic. I thought we could take it into the final day. This is not gone as I hoped it would. At all. We'll still play the Everton game on camera. Let's just see if we can gain second. and Because that would be an improvement on last year. Last year we came third. So if we can get second, it shows that there's a slight improvement in where we were last year. And I did say at the start of the season, I wanted to be within five to three to five points of Liverpool and City. And you know what? We, we, we've done that. Oh, God. Well, let's just crack on with it, shall we? <sighs> I mean, we might as well just go with the same team. It's the same lineup as last time, except Torreira's coming for Thiago Armada. Other than that, it is as you were. I'm going to get aggressive and say, I expect to see a much better performance out there today. If they turn up today, I'm not going to be happy. I've got to find a way of beating the five at the back formation, or I'm going to call it the Watford thing now, eight at the back. I need to find a way of being able to beat that next year, because obviously teams are going to start figuring out that that is how you kind of nullify us, and I need to sort that out. I've always had a theory about FM that if you play the same formation, the same tactics all year, eventually, like they would in real life, teams figure you out. And I think maybe we've been figured out a little bit. We've been very good at still kind of getting through games where teams have sat back against us because of the quality we possess. But if players have an off day like they did there, uh, it just so happens that all 11 of, them, 11 of them had an off day. But when teams figure that out, I need another way to play it, and I don't have that at the moment, so I need to figure that out, but at least well, I think that's something to work on for next year. Asane sees the ball back to Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, it's the 17th goal of the season, we're 1-0 up, and we are back up to second place, thank God for that. I've been teasing the idea of what to do with Aubameyang over the summer as well, because he's really started hitting form recently towards the end, but he is going to be 32, I think, at the start of next season, so it is a player that I might need to move on while I can still get value for him, but at the end, of the, he's a bit of an Arsenal legend. Do you know what I mean? And uh, Well, set pieces need working on next year as well. Because Steve Bergwin has just tapped in from a, a header on by Gabamin, I think it is. I have no idea how you say his name. Great flick on, but Milenkovic there misses interception. And we're back to 1-1. So we're back down to third again. Brilliant. At least there's more goals in this game. This one looks a bit more exciting than when uh, Watford just came part the bus. Make the Niles on the ball here. Absolutely racist, man. Well done, mate, for staying on your feet. Make the Niles towards the back post. Aubameyang gets his 18th, and he really is on fire. And he's doing the little chicken celebration. Ooh, teasy. I like it. Great ball over the field here from Torreira. And I have to say, Make the Niles has done absolutely brilliantly here to just beat his man around the outside. Dinks a great cross to the back post. And Aubameyang, out of nowhere, superb header. Leapt like a salmon, finished like a beast. I'm not sure if that's ever going to catch on as a catchphrase. Leapt like a salmon. Finished like a beast. We're leading 2 1 half time. Very solid. City are winning 2 0, so we just have to keep the lead here and we will finish second in the league. Oh, I've got something in my eye. And they are tears of disappointment. Great ball through here. Abamyang's through for a hat trick. Abamyang, 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 Abamyang has missed. And Jordan Dickford. Oh, Pickford, sorry, has managed to save it. Depay, he's managed to race away from his man there, has he? Just about. Depay, tees about to Ben Chilwell. Not brilliant there from Memphis. But Leroy Sala, oh my god. Oh my god. What a woeful effort that was. Oh, not like this. Berg wins in, round the back. Oh, at least he can't score one-on-ones either. Thank god. Right, take it off positive. Let's just go balance. Let's just calm it down a second, shall we? Uh, you know, the, the only thing that is good about this is that if Liverpool win again today, that they'll have won all their games and it won't have mattered. Do you know what I mean? That, that, that at the end of the day, that, that's really the thing. Why are we jumping down to third? Oh, come on. Goal difference, isn't it? You turds. And City have gone 4 up. Like, Thanks for nothing, Stoke. We're still going to finish third. Thanks to Stoke. Thanks, guys. You. Great ball over the top for Bergwin. He's just given... Maitland-Niles, the run around today. Richarlison, it's 2-2. Two, two. 
Why is it that when we go suddenly get pegged back, we go, oh, we need to start playing again? Sane, on the ball now. Come on, mate. Let's hit back. Make the Niles to Joe Willock. Willock to Niles. Willock. Make the Niles. Come on, good ball across here, mate. He puts it back to Joe Willock, and that's a poor ball in. Make the Niles. Back to Terrera. Playing some good stuff here. Van der Beek. Go on, Donny. Into Abamyang. Abamyang to Sane. Brilliant from Sane there. And uh, this is going to be fun to watch Richardson just completely run past Tito Kera there. And, uh, I'm, oh my god, I'm glad. Well, it's not free. I don't know how it's not free for Everton, but it's not. Depay absolutely skins Sadibi there. Go on. Yes, Stoke. Right, one more go and we go back up to second. No, we don't. What am I about? Forget that. Let's just win because we want to. Make the Niles. Make the Niles. I mean, why? 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 Because it's FM. And every player ever always shoots into the side netting. Just like you've never scored on one on one. Just. Memphis Depay over free kick. Whipson in Rigotti! He's missed. I, I, we still lack leaders, I think. And I think it's games like the Watford game where I need someone to step up there and really make a difference. And just everyone folded like a pack of cards. Everybody. And it's 2 2. Everton take their lap of honour. There will be no Premier League title for us. We knew that already, but to do it in this manner, fuming. At least we have a chance at redemption against Liverpool in the next episode. And Liverpool did win all their games. So, in all fairness, it would not have mattered what we did. We still wouldn't have won the league. So, that that's something I can take out of it. It's just the manner of how we did it has really pissed me off a little bit. Um, we finished two points behind City. Liverpool won the league by seven points uh, from us. Five from City. So... We have closed the gap slightly. Norwich, Newcastle and Nottingham Forest go down. Not Watford, sadly. They stay in ninth. So I look forward to wasting three points against them next year as well. Aubameyang has had a decent end to the end of the season. So I'm hoping that he'll be in still in good spirits for the FA Cup final. And that is where we're going to come back. I'm so sorry we couldn't win the Premier League. Like I said, it didn't really matter in the end anyway. But you look at this form here. Standard micromunch stuff. We come... <laughs> we get to the end of the season. We fall apart. Absolutely horrific. Horrific. Oh my god, terrible. But we big ourselves up. We will go again in the FA Cup final against Liverpool, which is going to be season two's finale in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it as much as you can. Uh, not quite the dramatic finish that I was hoping for, but we'll go again next year. There's still a chance to silverware. We have beaten Liverpool this year. We can do it again. I believe. Do you believe? Let me know in the comment section what we need to do to get that result. I'm open to your suggestions. Please help me out here. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe. I'm not always this depressed. And until I see you in the next episode for the FA Cup final, stay cool.